I show you a good sky. It could hold a fleet of geese above a kite, sipping in a breeze, or foliate the wind with leaves of cherry wood and hedge. It will blanket your sleep with mirrors of stars in the soft undressing of night. It will love you solely through the Venus dawn, rubbing your eyes awake rubbing your eyes awake until the first light hangs its spars. I show you a good sky. It will rain its reflection on your one troubled eye, the one that blinks each time a hawk rants by. I am no one's romantic. No, I am the sky's shadow wish, writing this only to breathe its light. I show you a falling sun passing like a lover, to be near you, allowing no star or bulb on the corner lamp to possess you as you are. Look, here I am, the skies moon down. I will shave a horizon out of peaks like none your memory has ever carved. I show you a good sky. Its broad blue ribbon will wrap its mind around your eyes' imagination and tease you into smiles. Now, be patient. Let your grieving rest a while. And I, I read this on the ABC radio talk show, and a caller came, a, a young man called in to thank me for reading it, writing it and reading it, because he had just lost his wife about uh, six weeks earlier. And uh, I was so touched by that. So, But at that night at Berkeley, I was doing a reading, and he showed up. He was there at the reading and said, I was the one who called you. So I gave him the original copy of the poem. Mm -hmm. I signed wow. it and gave him that copy. But it just shows you of communication again, you know, how words communicate and you reach out and you don't know who it is you're touching, who you're moving. Uh, but this poem has done very well in terms of people uh, just understanding. Uh, I was on a plane and there was a young black girl next to me crying, sobbing. And I said, are you okay? What's wrong? So I'm just coming back from my uh, niece and nephew's funeral. I'm so sorry. She says, yes, her, her father, their father came back from Iraq and he killed them. And then I wow. realized, my God, they were on the news. This was in Oklahoma. And I remember watching this in the Oklahoma news all the time about this incident that occurred and the young children who died and the, the husband, the father who was suffering from all kinds of mental disabilities. And and I had already written this poem, so uh, I sort of calmed her a bit. But when we got off the, the uh, off the plane, I said, "Let me just." And I did this. I read this poem to her, and then she wrote me later from Florida, where she had to go. And she says, "I can't thank you enough for that moment after we got off the plane and you read the poem." Because I, she says, "Could you send that to me?" And then I was able to send that. So. Maybe this is why I, I travel the world. I love to be able to communicate and bring people together and find ways to, you know, just make it a little easier. Yeah. Because it brings and, gentleness. Well, there's a power to words, and, and yeah. I think the, that's what I love about all arts, too, not just yours, mm -hmm. not just words on the page, but painting, dancers, actors, everybody that's attempting to communicate emotions 